Hi, it's James here from Wave Streaming. Welcome along to this overview of Shoutcast 2. And also in this video, I'm going to be showing you our brand new customer control panel, Wave Panel, in its fourth incarnation now. Um, so once we've logged in, this is the screen we'll see. As you can see, it's a lot cleaner looking. We've got more going on here, keeping you up to date with all of the latest videos. We've been a bit quiet on the video front over the past uh, few months. And um, trust me, we've got plenty of really great stuff, which is going to be coming out soon. We've also got our blog posts here, so you can see all of the latest here at Wave Streaming, um, plus industry news and announcements and all that kind of great stuff. But I'm sure you really don't care about that as much as what you're actually going to get as part of the new Shoutcast 2 system. Now, migration is going to be absolutely free of charge for existing customers. You'll be glad to know. And we're going to be rolling it out one server at a time just to manage the uh, process. Now, Shoutcast 2 um, is ready to, to be used. We've been testing it out on our own station, Birdsong Radio, as you can see here, over the past few weeks. It's been working really, really well. Um, however, it is not for everybody. So if you are comfortable with being on the forefront of technology, then you probably want to consider moving. However, if you don't like change, then you may want to hold off for a couple of months. We will make it optional for the first uh, two or three months. And then eventually, once we're happy, everything has been fine-tuned, then we'll move everyone else across. So right now, if you've been invited to migrate, you can choose to do so. It'll be optional. But, uh, you know, in a couple of months' time, once the majority of people have optionally migrated, anyone else who's left on the old system will indeed be moving across. And don't worry, because we'll have lots of tutorials and things which will show you exactly what you're going to get and how to use Shoutcast 2 with uh, minimal kind of technical error, if you like. So let's take a look at uh, some of the features here within our control panel. If uh, we click onto one of our uh, Birdsong servers and click on Dashboard, this is our new real-time dashboard, which is really, really awesome. And basically what this does is it shows you exactly how many listeners are tuned in at that one time. Um, and this is all dynamic, it's all real-time, so all you have to do is just sit and watch this and it will automatically update whenever someone new connects or, you know, listeners disconnect. You can even see your listeners on a map, and again, this is all completely dynamic. When new listeners join, you'll see the pins fly down like that one there, so they start listening and... When people stop listening, the pins will disappear as well. It's really, really cool. You can literally sit here for hours and watch this and watch your audience grow and grow. It's brilliant. And then further on down here, we've got um, some demographics about our audience. So we can see right now on this tag cloud that the most popular player is Windows Media, followed by probably Winamp. And we've got quite a few listeners in the US right now, in Germany and the UK and so on and so forth. Then if we want to drill down into even more detail, we can see every single listener who is currently connected to our server, how long they've been listening for, um, you know, what they're using to listen, um, also where they're based, their IP address, and also the flag which shows the country. So lots of stuff going on here on the new Wave Panel dashboard. We can also see our song history, so we can see what's currently uh, playing and what's just been played before, and obviously the time it was played. We can choose to kick and ban listeners if we think they... Uh, shouldn't be tuned in or if they've been listening for too long maybe for example 19 hours here wow that's a keen listener isn't it okay so that's the dashboard lots of new stuff perfect for radio station owners to kind of come on check their stats see how many people are currently tuned into the station so on the uh, more business end of things here we've got the server control panel config options and another thing i'll point out actually just before i go through this is this drop down here currently it says live the new Shoutcast system will allow us to have more than one stream connected on a single server. We haven't currently made this option available, however, it is programmed into uh, the control panel, hence there is this live drop-down box. So obviously, if we had multiple streams, we click there and we'd be able to see a list of the streams on that single server. But of course, at the moment, you can currently have multiple servers, so we've got four servers currently loaded on my account here. Um, so in a server control, We've got um, various options, such as um, starting and stopping our server. Right now, this is currently uh, turned off, so we can switch it on and off just with a click of a button. Very, very easy to do. We can also uh, toggle off uh, on or off on our server monitoring. We recommend, obviously, that's kept on just to make sure you've got the maximum possible uptime. And uh, if you know if your server's ever found down, our system will automatically bring it back online. 
You can also kick the source if you want to get rid of the DJ who's currently broadcasting. Again, this is per mount point. We'll explain more about that when we make uh, the multiple mount point uh, technology available. Right now, uh, customers will literally be moved over with a single mount point, this default live mount point here. Reload config. We've also got a uh, stream protection, which we had in the old uh, control panel, just a few obviously minor updates to the uh, look and feel of the control panel, which make it a bit nicer to use. Geolocation, if you want to protect your station from uh, countries, maybe for, due to licensing restrictions, you can literally add uh, countries that you want to allow to listen here and everyone else will be uh, disallowed, obviously, and we can click them to remove them. Okay, and again, we've got this turned off at the moment because that's not something we want to use. We can then control uh, configuration for each individual mount point because you can set different passwords per mount point. Um, this is all controlled here, plus various other shoutcast options you'll be familiar with, like the relay URL, whether you want uh, your listeners to automatically disconnect once the source disconnects, and so on and so forth. So loads of great config options which you can edit in real time via the new wave panel. Okay, so moving on, let's have a look at the other options we've got. The new directory system on shoutcast.com now allows you to specify your server uh, station information, sorry, via our control panel. So you don't have to worry about being listed anymore. That's all taken care of for you. And it's a much, much improved system. So you literally just choose what uh, genre you're broadcasting in here and you know then automatically your station will get shown in the correct genre on the shoutcast directory and it will always come up much quicker supposedly than it did before i know before we had a lot of issues with the shoutcast directory or rather shoutcast had a lot of issues with the directory so they promised us now that the directory system has been much improved so this is how you get listed obviously in order to get listed you'll need to configure this information before you do so and the great news is at the moment, yes, you can choose to list on the Shoutcast directory, but we're going to be adding lots more directories on here. So you don't need to sign up for them manually. We'll literally have you automatically list on multiple radio directories. So hopefully bring you guys in a whole extra load of extra listeners just by clicking a button, basically. And finally, let's look at the uh, statistics. This is very much like we had before, um, although we've improved the look and feel of our graphs quite some uh, bit here so we can see how many listeners we've had over the past uh, 90 minutes last 24 hours last seven days and also last year we've also got our total time spent listening which will appear at the bottom of this screen too moving on finally we've got the integration tools which we've always had including our listen player uh, listen in links for winners media real player win and itunes and the universal link we've always had these We've also got um, current stream information. One of the improvements we've made here uh, upon sort of popular request is the track history will now automatically update in front of the listener's eyes so they won't need to refresh the page or anything. It's completely going you know, to dynamically update. Same goes with the stream status and current track. So you can literally copy and paste these snippets of code onto your website and everything will go live. We've also got our free flash player tool available for you within Wave Panel as well. And we're going to be adding couple more options uh, to this screen plus various other uh, improvements on the other screens as this new wave panel progresses so thanks for watching hopefully this little video overview will give you a clue as to what's involved with shoutcast 2 it's a really great system we're really pleased to be uh, pioneering it and making it available to our customers so early I'm not too sure of uh, many other stream hosts who ha actually have it available right now so currently it's optionally to, uh, optional to migrate. You can choose whether you want to do that. The link will be over in the old wave panel if you wish to do so. If it's been enabled on your server, as I say, we're doing it server at a time. So we'll email you when that becomes available. Thanks for watching.